Hello everyone and welcome to All the Oscars, the series that I swear to God I did not forget about. And it's funny because uh, it's currently about to be December as of the time I'm filming this, which I'm not even through the 2016 Oscar movies and already there's going to be a whole new round of them. Which is kind of why I wanted to bring this uh, back, like that way when they come out I can actually, you know, watch them as they get nominated or, or whatever. And, it, and, you know, I'm not going to know every single movie that will be nominated, but um, rega regardless, that has nothing to do with Hacksaw Ridge, the movie we are talking about today. And this movie was probably, I think, like, budget-wise, maybe, like, uh, apart from maybe a movie or two, uh, like, the biggest out of this selection. And it stars, you know, Andrew Garfield... Uh, and it's directed by Mel Gibson, which, by the way, Mel Gibson, uh, like, put himself on the cover of this, the, the poster I was looking at when I clicked on it, it was just like, Mel Gibson, the actor behind, you know, Passion of the Christ and Braveheart, I was like, like, you're directing it, it doesn't really matter what movies you were in, dude. Not to mention those movies came out, like, years ago, they're not even, like, recent movies that are like, oh, so this is following this trend, like, I think some things have happened since those movies have come out, uh, Mel Gibson. Andrew Garfield's character, he is not against serving his country, but in the movie, he, you know, because of his religion and his dedication to God, he, he won't pick up a rifle, he won't kill anybody, and when you're uh, surrounded in a military war with a bunch of people killing each other, that doesn't, you know, work out for the best. Uh, he gets bullied and gets abused for, you know, acting this way. Um, he gets made fun of, and then he goes out to war, and we see what happens from there. And it's been a while since I've seen a war movie like this, where I, like, feel just uneasy in my seat, and I'm watching it, and, like, it's crazy, like... Uh, these, like, World War II, like, in the grand scheme of things, wasn't that long ago, but we see people just doing things, and people who are much braver than I, and I'll ever have to be, doing things that, like, I, like, could never do. And, you know, it's crazy to think Andrew Garfield's character, you know, if he gets out of this, he's just gonna go, like, back to a normal society, he's gonna get old eventually, uh, people are gonna start using smartphones, and he's gonna have PTSD, and it's just, oh my god. Uh, I, I took, like, a huge, huge misdirection while I was thinking about this movie. And this movie is not afraid to show the blood, is not afraid to show, uh, the people getting blown up. Uh, it's not afraid to show Andrew Garfield, like, hitting them up with morphine, and we see the needle going in, and there's blood everywhere, and people are blind, they can't see shit, and there's body parts, and there's grenades, and there's mines, and then there's Japanese people shooting at you, and they're killing themselves, and it's one of those kinds of movies, and I think the beginning to this movie and the, like, rest of the movie are two completely different things. The beginning of this movie is so, uh, not the very beginning, but, like, Andrew Garfield's whole, like, meeting his girlfriend, getting married, uh, was so bright and cheerful and bright colors, and Andrew Garfield just wouldn't stop smiling, and he's kind of dumb, and yet he would just keep smiling, and it was just so happy, compared to the rest of the movie, which is just, like, war porn, it's just people dying left and right, it's just main characters, or, or, the characters you know the most. There's not really any other characters in this war other than Andrew Garfield and Vince Vaughn. And Vince Vaughn, by the way, the second Vince Vaughn walked in on this movie, I was like, I don't know about all this. This is like, Andrew Garfield's too happy. Um, I, I'm not resonating with these characters. And then Vince Vaughn steps out. He stepped out. And, she, and he's like the sergeant. He's like yelling at them even as they're getting their limbs blown off. I love Vince Vaughn in this role. I thought it was like one of the best performances he's ever given. And I did not expect that out of him. I Good for you, Vince Vaughn. And I do like Andrew Garfield's character. He was kind of dumb. Uh, he wouldn't do like obvious things to like 
uh, get around his philosophy and still, you know, meet expectations with the military. And he had, like, this very bad southern accent. It was very hokey. But he wouldn't do this thing. And everyone hated him for it. And, like, you didn't know if it was because maybe he's just dumb. It never, like, said he's this, like, super Christianity person and he's the moral compass you should abide by. It's just saying this is how he, this guy is. He's different. And this is what happens to him. And a lot of war movies, I feel, turn into, like, how the last, like, little bit of battle of this movie had, where it's just, like, cinematic music playing over, like, slow-mo footage of, like, stuff flying over everywhere. I like these kind of war movies where it feels like you're on the battlefield, you're with this uh, squad or whoever's with you. Um, you have to, like, keep track of everything. There's so much, like, work and energy around you, and people are just like, oh, there's a random guy, and, you know, people are dying, and it's just fighting nonstop. But the things that kept this movie from being great to me were, one, uh, this movie ends, uh, it's not, it's a long movie, it doesn't end too short, but it doesn't seem to have, like, the scenes we want to see, uh, where he, like, gets back to his family, where he... Uh, meets his girlfriend. As much as I like the ending, which, like, showed, hey, we got our facts straight, this is based upon a true story, uh, and we actually, they, the ending of this movie is revealing the real, uh, character behind this uh, in real life, and it, like, shows him in all of his humanness and, like, really humanizes the movie, and I don't know, I feel like that doesn't diminish anything like that was before that scene but this movie felt like so much more like to say this person's uh like this extra special person who did all this and then to show the real him behind him like sometimes a myth or not a myth but a story can be bigger than a person but at the same time movies like this will make me appreciate that old guy with the accent uh if i ever saw them in public i don't know where i was going with that the movie wasn't as good as it could have been and a lot of it was pretty hokey a lot of it kind of just felt like a movie being put together physically in front of me and the scenes were so like perfectly acted and so tight and the makeup and the war paint are just so perfect that it didn't feel uh, natural. It wasn't what it could have been. Compared to the other movies, I think it might be above La La Land, but below I think all the other ones. Uh, I didn't love this one. I, I think even Howard High Water uh, was better than this one. This one was a good movie by all accounts. It was interesting, but I didn't feel the connection with this one. And in all honesty, like it, it didn't seem like an Oscar movie uh, to me. Sure, it had like great performances by Garfield. It was directed by Mel Gibson, and great performance by uh, Mr. Anderson. It had Hugo Weaving as the dad, and he was the most just intimidating dad of all time. And he had a great scene. I love that character. That was all great, but it just didn't connect with me, and I think I'll give it a 7 out of 10, and uh, that's Hacksaw Ridge, yay! And I think I only have a couple more movies for the 2016. Uh, as the 2017 movies come out, I again, hopefully I'll review them or do video these videos on them. And then we can finally start going back to uh, some movies I've seen and a lot of other interesting things to come with this Oscar series thing I'm doing. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching as always and uh, with that, I leave.